सो इन दिस सेक्शन वी विल सी द वेरियस लॉज ऑफ अल्जेब्रा ऑफ प्रपोजिशंस सो द फर्स्ट लॉ इज इंडिपेंडेंट लॉ वेयर सपोज वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट पी और पी देन वी आर गेटिंग पी वाई बिकॉज और इज नथिंग बट द एडिशन थिंग दैट यू नो सो पी और पी गिवज अस द सेम प्रपोजिशन दैट इज पी एंड पी एंड पी ऑल्सो गिवज अस द सेम प्रपोजिशन पी सो वी हैव सीन दीज लाइन्स आर यूज वेन यू आर सेंग दैट बोथ आर लॉजिकली इक्वे वैलेंट सो वी आर सेंग पी और पी इज लॉजिकली इक्वे वैलेंट टू पी एंड पी एंड पी इज लॉजिकली इक्वे वैलेंट टू पी देन द सेकेंड लॉ इज द असोसिएटिव लॉ वेर वी आर हैव असोसिएटिव मीन्स वॉट वी आर ट्राइंग टू एनकॉर्पोरेट द फंक्शंस इन बिटवीन द वेरियस प्रपोजिशंस एंड वेन एवर वी आर चेंजिंग द पर्टिक्युलर कनेक्टिविटीज इन द प्रपोजिशन एंड द प्लेसेस ऑफ दैट प्रपोजिशन स्टिल वी आर गेटिंग द सेम आउटपुट सो इन द असोसिएटिव लॉ इफ वी आर सेंग दैट वी आर हैविंग इन ब्रैकेट पी और क्यू एंड देन दैट इट इज अगेन ऑर्ड विथ आर इट इज लॉजिकली इक्वे वैलेंट टू पी और इन ब्रैकेट क्यू और आर सेम वे असोसिएटिव लॉ स्टेट्स दैट If we are having P and Q, then and R, then it is logically equivalent to P and in bracket Q and R. So that is associative law. Then the next one is the commutative law. So as its name implies, it is commutative. Though you will be changing the uh, places of the proposition, we will get the same answer. That is P or Q is logically equivalent to Q or P. Same way. P and Q is logically equivalent to Q and P. Then comes the distributive law. So as its name implies, it is distributive law. So we are exploring the particular mathematical expression in that, and we are can able to say that both are logically equivalent. Means P or Q and R is logically equivalent to P or Q and P or R. same way p and q or r is logically equivalent to p and q or p and r so that is the distributive law then the next come that is identity law so in identity law if any proposition is ordered with truth value true we are getting the truth value true same way if we are ending the any proposition with truth value true we are getting the output as p that is nothing but same proposition same way if we are ending the proposition p with truth value false then we are getting the logical equivalent same as truth value false then comes the next law that is complement law so in the complement law as its name implies it is complement law so definitely it contains the negation so p or negation of p gives us the truth value true whereas p and negation of p gives us the truth value false then the involution law as two negatives becomes one positive that is negation of negation of p gives us the proposition p then comes the de morgan's law where negation of p or q gives us negation of p and negation of q same way negation of p and q gives us negation of p or negation of q so these are all about the laws of algebra of propositions now we will see the logical implication so logical implication means we can say proposition p is logically imply a proposition q which is shown as the double arrow double arrow and the single headed double arrow if q is true whenever p is true means suppose we are having two propositions that is p and q then q is true whenever p is true then we can say that the proposition p is logically imply the proposition q so suppose we are having propositions p q p or q then we can say that the log p proposition logically implies p or q means suppose we are having proposition p as true true false false and we are having proposition q as true false true false then we are also getting the p or q as t t t f so we can say that 
the particular uh, p logically implies p or q we can consider the truth table for that so this is all about logical implication that q is true whenever p is true then we can say the propositions are logically imply on each other so this is about the various laws that are used in proposition and the logical implication in our next section we will see the various proof techniques that are used in the propositions thank you